So I wanna highlight Solid State Clothing today. They are a clothing manufacturer that is making some really great items for both men and women in their headquarters in Burlington, North Carolina. So we're gonna go over who Solid State Clothing is, what are some of the products that they offer, and I'll show off a couple of the items that I picked up from them as well. I know you guys can't see these super well back here, so I'll do some close-up shots throughout the video so you guys can see just how high quality these t-shirts beanies, and other items that they offer are. Solid State Clothing is based in Burlington, North Carolina, which has a really storied history in terms of textile manufacturing for over 250 years. Solid State's all about keeping that textile manufacturing history alive and really prioritizes the local community, not only in terms of employing American workers at that facility, but also keeping a lot of the raw material sourcing local as well and partnering with a lot of other manufacturers and creators in the area to help produce their final product. Solid State Clothing is mostly known for their t-shirts, but they also make beanies and rag wool socks as well. Everything they do, like I mentioned, is super local, super sustainable, and from dirt to final product, or as Solid State likes to say, from dirt to shirt, is all produced in the U.S. and even in the local region. So I picked up a few items from Solid State. The first that I want to show y'all is this slate colored t-shirt. So this guy is 100% ring spun cotton and it's also naturally dyed from terra root and iron. So all of this is also pre-shrunk and it's super, super soft. So all their products are really sustainable and eco-friendly and same goes for this other t-shirt that I bought. This is pretty much the exact same material but is naturally dyed from black walnuts which have been foraged from trees that grow in the eastern United States, which is pretty cool. One of the other small things that I really love about these t-shirts is the tag on the inside. Well, it's not really a tag, it's uh, the print on the inside of the t-shirt, but it tells you where the t-shirt comes from. Solid State has incredible transparency across their entire supply chain, and if you go to the website that's listed on the tag of the t-shirt, you can pretty much see every single step of the process. That kind of transparency in clothing manufacturing is super refreshing, especially for us because we're constantly chasing down brands trying to figure out where they're sourcing materials from or where they're outsourcing their manufacturing to and things like that. So Solid State being really transparent about all that information is great for us as consumers and just gives us a really good opportunity to see the local community that they support. The other item that I picked up from Solid State Clothing is their Marigold Beanie. Now this is a really cool project that uh, they deployed really in the last year or two where they worked with a few other local manufacturers to make this happen. So this Marigold Beanie actually won an award in the last year or so. Our State Magazine ran a competition on some really unique and innovative textile products and the Marigold Beanie from Solid State Clothing is a great community project that actually won an award. And I mentioned that it's a community project because it really was a bunch of different organizations that have put together efforts to make this thing happen. A company called Anova Knits in Conover, North Carolina actually knit the beanies together and then Fanta Flora Brewing Company in North Carolina picked all of the marigold flowers that grow locally in the area to pass on to solid state clothing to create the natural dye to make this beautiful gold color on the beanie. From there, Opportunity Threads put the tag on the front of the beanie, and they even used a local print shop for the card that they include in the packaging too. So altogether, a really cool project that was actually cultivated by a local organization in North Carolina that I'm really involved in called the Carolina Textile District. Now I've been to a couple of meetups with these folks over the last year and it's been really great to meet a lot of the great people who are driving textile manufacturing forward in the region, which also includes the folks at Solid State. It's been really great getting to know the people at Solid State and just how much they care about local manufacturing, supporting American workers, and keeping textile manufacturing alive in the region. That Carolina Textile District group and associated organizations, which includes the Industrial Commons, which I'll put links to all of these folks in the description below, and several other great organizations within that broader group, also just won an award 
from a lot of the government grants that have been coming down from Washington for being a regional innovation engine for textile manufacturing. Some more to come from that group and the innovation engine that they're creating in the Carolinas, but I'm really excited for them. And I think it's really going to help drive American manufacturing and then particularly textiles and skilled American jobs within that industry forward. So y'all let me know if you have any questions about solid state clothing. Again, they have really great options for t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, the marigold beanie, rag wool socks as well for both men and women in a ton of different colors. And of course, all using cotton that's grown in the US and natural dyes and everything. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like these types of spotlights. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.